This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first, from Jersey City, New Jersey, weighing 188 pounds, the Concrete Rose, Sunny Kiss. Tad Sunny Kiss has resonated with the crowd here in AEW, and he's been a fixture on Dark. And now hoping to team up with Brandon Cutler and find their first win as a tag team. Great flexibility there by Sonny. We've seen that before in him. Excellent athlete. And from Rancho Cucamonga, California, weighing 192 pounds, Brandon Cutler. What do we got? What do we got? We got 17. Cutler, Cutler likes what he sees. He's got high initiative on that. And now we saw a couple weeks ago on Dark when Brandon Cutler teamed up with Sean Spears, Cutler was almost able to single-handedly defeat Private Party. Oh, no doubt, man. I, I remember it well when you and I sat here and it was just, he had control. Did Cutler over both members of Private Party and, you know, Spears left them high and dry. But then it was too much. Yeah, too the much. numbers eventually caught up right. with Brandon Cutler. Private Party was able to prevail, hoping for a better result here tonight. Their opponents from a location where you need an invitation at a combined weight of 24 ounces of vodka cranberry, Isaiah Cassidy, Mark Quinn, private party. At Atlas Security doing a great job of keeping the party private. Yeah, big Ronnie Long get Ronnie Lang, I should say, getting a little uh getting greased a little bit. That's gotta, all right. Gotta mention Atlas Security with their uh, Wrestling for Rescues t-shirts. Yes, all yes. the proceeds of those shirts go to a great cause. Go, go to Animal Wrestling. Animal Rescue. Yes. Not Animal Wrestling. <laughs> animal Rescue Causes. And while you're online buying merch, you want to stop by shopaew.com. Get yourself Absolutely. a private party t-shirt. Have you ever been to uh, one of the parties that Private Party hosts? I've never been invited to us, but they're private. I have. <laughs> okay, many times, being a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah. They don't really like too many of the West Coast guys that wear masks. That's the problem you have, my friend. Is it the West Coast thing or is it the mask? I don't uh, Probably the mask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tough to trust a guy with a mask. But then again, like me, these guys wear sunglasses indoors at night, and that's good stuff. Private Party, though, man. They got to get back on their winning ways. That's right, they are the number five ranked tag team here in AEW. They came out of the gates with a huge flurry, knocking off the Young Bucks in the first round of that AEW yeah. World Tag Team title tournament. Shocked the world with that. But Taz, I, I don't mean to uh, to run them down, but they, they kind of faltered after that. You know, I think uh, they, they, they were able to catch the Bucks by surprise. They caught a lot of teams by right, surprise. Right, yeah, yeah. But once the word got out on them, they, uh, they had some trouble against a more experienced team. Right, well, because they, they were scouted now, so then pe so all the teams saw what they had and saw what they were bringing to the table. So then, now you got to switch things up. you got to change your offense a little bit. And private party, Cassidy and Quinn, they know that. They know that they, they're making those adjustments. And it takes time. They'll get back rolling, I promise you. It's a good way to start right here tonight against Cutler and Sonny Kiss, who we've seen as, you know, team up before in the past. Yeah, the, the duo of Cutler and Kiss still winless here in AEW. A victory over a ranked team like Private Party do a lot for their standings, not only uh, in, in the rankings, but also they're, they're standing in the locker room, Taz. I mean, you've been in, you've yeah. been in many, many locker rooms, and we've got a guy that's uh, on a losing streak. People kind of kind of stay away from him. So, yeah, you, sometimes you just don't want to get that bad mojo from someone, and that does happen. You're exactly right, Excalibur. Right now we're seeing uh, Isaiah Cassie with this Nice two on one. He had control of the wrist of Cutler. Cutler trying to switch it up here a bit. Cutler with the strength and experience advantage over Private Party. He has that side headlock locked in. Nice job clasping the wrist. And there was a blind tag yeah, there by Mark Quinn. Yeah, definitely a tag right there. That experience as a team, as a cohesive unit by Private Party. What is going on here? A <laughs> little, little bit of misdirection there by Private Party. Well, watch that. Lee Frog's old partner, Mr. Sweet. And now a blind tag by Sonny Kiss. Cutler goes over the back of Quinn, but Sonny Whoa. Kiss high right roundhouse. Roundhouse is exchanged all over the place. Kicks, flips, misses. Kiss, Cassidy, Cutler, and Quinn. Drop kicks for all that didn't land. 
There you go. Good stuff, though. Four-way standoff. Referee Bryce Remsburg is calling for the legal men to stay in the ring. Well, each team trying to get an advantage of some sorts, and that's so important early in the match to build some momentum for you and your partner. But well, right now, it's even Stevens, as even Steven, as we see here. It was Sonny Kiss getting up in the grill right here of, uh, of Marquis Quinn. Mark Quinn and Sonny Kiss. You think they go to the same barber? Good chance. Or, or die gimmick barber, the die Jones. <laughs> Whatever they call that, the diest. The colorist, <laughs> I think, is it. The hair color. Sonny Kiss goes back in. Arm drag takes down Quinn. Now Sonny Kiss, Cazadora comes through. Whoa. Arm drag down into what the a, splits. What a split. I mean, God, the flexibility in Sonny Kiss. That's so important for injury prevention. It really is. And Sonny Kiss got this. Oh, my Sonny. God. Sonny Kiss was avoided by Mark Quinn, but comes over Whoa. the top. Arm drag takes down Quinn. Sonny Kiss, soul butt to the midsection. Sonny hits the rope, steps through, and lands in the split. Put his entire body into that one. Cover. Only a one count for Sonny Kiss. Yeah, unorthodox competitor is Kiss. We've seen him before many times, how he competes in there. You guys, it's tough to prepare for at times. And again, that flexibility, I bring it up a lot for a reason. He's probably one of the most flexible competitors in all of AEW oh, in general. That was a great job right there. Quinn went for the monkey flip. Sonny Kiss able to avoid it. Oh! Ooh. Private party. Some great teamwork there, Taz. Yes, absolutely. And no surprise, right? The cohesiveness of private party. The foot stomp and the neck breaker combination and followed up by Cutler being taken off the apron and Zaya Cassidy feeling a vibe here. Covers one, two, two count only. And yeah, that's a good opportunity if you're private party to single out Sonny Kiss, keep him towards your corner if you can and prevent Brandon Cutler from getting into this matchup. Sonny Kiss slammed face first into that top turnbuckle. Mark Quinn, I wonder if he maybe got his Bell rung a bit of something because he's, he's you know usually yeah. he would be up on that apron pretty quick. You yeah, know? a little little slow to get up. Great great call, Taz. I think oh. he might be banged up a little bit. Ref might want to take a look at him, but I guess he's okay. Sonny Kiss just eating that chop in the corner. Eating oh, a second one from Isaiah Cassidy. Brandon Cutler shouting out words of encouragement. Cutler trying to motivate Sonny Kiss. The concrete rose is in danger of Isaiah Cassidy right now. Oh, wild swing and a miss there by Sonny. Isaiah Cassidy goes to the ropes, rolls through Sonny. Sonny back up on his feet, but to the midsection. Again, the great teamwork by Private Party. Oh, Manhattan drop, followed by the step up, Common Gary. Oh, sweep of the leg. And now Sonny Cass held up oh. and driven down into the canvas. Mark Quinn making it look easy. Excellent athletes, both, both members of Private Party, tremendous young guys that are just highly athletic. Cover, two. This has got to be frustrating for Brandon Cutler after he had so much success just a few weeks ago against Private Party to be helpless on the outside watching. But, but so Excalibur, to that point that you brought up a couple times and you're, you're spot on, my friend. But see, that's how smart Private Party is. They know that, right? So what are they doing? Here's a cover. One, two. Whoa. What are they doing? They are not, you get what I'm saying, they're not letting, you know, Cutler get into this match. They're isolating Sonny Kiss. Correct, Kiss. correct. They're, Maybe they look at Sonny as the weaker link. And they're keeping Cutler on the outside. Brandon Cutler still looking for his first victory here in AEW. Sonny Kiss looking for his first victory in the year 2020. Now private party, oh! Sonny Kiss escapes up over the top. Ducks under, oh, makes the tag! Here comes Cutler! Wow! Wow! Oh, man, that was sick! Tremendous elevation! Cutler, great job! And oh! Oof. Turned his back for a moment on Isaiah Cassidy. Yeah, Cassidy cut down Cutler real quick. He had to, because he was starting to build rapid momentum. Stopped him in his tracks. Cutler ducks the double clothesline attempt. Oh, oh wow! Meeting of minds there for private party. Cassidy breaks free, has the waist Oh! Cutler catches Quinn with a high boot. Now Mark Quinn sent over the top. Oh, look at this. Private party. Great teamwork there. Cassidy was able to catch Quinn, but Cutler. Cutler's not stop. It's like, like what we saw recently out of Cutler when Spears left as we talked about it. Yeah, Cutler was fighting what was effectively 
a handicap match after Sean Spears walked out on him. Oh, God. He's got both members of Private Bobby Hardy, Party, I should say, hung up. Does Cutler. Cutler goes over the oh. top. Leg drop on Quinn. And now with Cassidy. Cassidy trying There's to another fight one his way coming, back buddy. up. Oh. Look at Cutler not stopping, not wasting time. Tope Suicida. Go get it, Cutler. Brandon Cutler. Beautiful oh. elbow drop. Covers. Gotta get it, baby. Gotta get it. Two. No. Excellent, excellent offense by Brandon Cutler. Great job. He has Private Party's number by himself, dude. I'm telling you. Cutler with that high initiative on that roll up at the, the top of the stage before the match. That boat boated very well for him. Now Sonny Kiss wants to stand up Cassidy, do something. Swing and a miss. Ducked by Cassidy. Quinn knocked off the apron. Oh, beautiful drop salt there by Sonny Kiss. Excellent, excellent. Private party collecting themselves on the outside. Sonny Kiss has center stage. Sonny hits the ropes. Here he goes. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a shot. What a shot. Powerful shots by Sonny Kiss. What the? Twerk it out, Sonny. Joey Numbers never did that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sonny <laughs> Kiss. <laughs> Call him Butter because he's on a roll. Oh, yeah. Sonny headed up top. I tell you what, Cassie, you better see what the heck's going on yeah, here. Yeah, he's in real trouble I'm here. I'm telling you. Sonny. Oof. Oh. Beautiful work on Rana. Takes down Isaiah Cassidy. Leaping off the... Back of Cassidy into the leg drop across the back of the head. Hooks the far leg. One. Good cover. Two. Good cover. No. Quinn able to break it up. Good thing that uh, Mark Quinn did that. Otherwise, <laughs> that would have been a massive tag team upset for uh, for Sonny Kiss and Brandon Cutler. Tag out to Mark Quinn. Sonny Kiss. Kick to the midsection of Quinn. Stopping him in his tracks. Sonny hits the ropes. Oh, went Oof. for the boot to the side of the head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh no. God. Oh, man. While he was in the split. One, two. Got him. He's no. gone. Holy that cow. was vicious. Man, I, I'll tell you what, that will just tear apart your inner thigh region. Okay, how flexible you are. Sunny kiss. Just, just completely pancaked there by Mark Quinn. Again, seems to maybe be singled out again for the second time in this match by Private Party. But you notice once Cutler got in, he had a. Oh, he kind of uh, mocking uh, Brendan Cutler. You saw that? Dice Jones. Dice roll. And now, yeah. coming off the back, private party. Driving Sonny Kiss into the knees of Isaiah Cassidy. And now, Mark Quinn what on the, the hell back. Is this? Oh! oh! Back flip. Cassidy covers. One, two. No! Brandon Cutler there in time to break things up. Great save by Cutler. He is not the legal man, though. And Brandon Cutler fires in a right hand. And there's another one. Fires in a second. Uh -oh. Cassidy thrown up and over the top into the silly string. No, Cutler counters. Cutler, TPK. Total party kill right there. Perfect timing on <laughs> private party, right? Oh, he caught oh. Quinn. Another one, TPK. TPK on Quinn. Oh, Brandon Cutler, not the legal man. Exactly. Kiss covers one. Picking up the scraps. He's got it. Oh, that misdirection, that, that lack of communication between teammates cost Absolutely. Sonny Kiss and Brandon Cutler a victory. Absolutely. Sonny, stay on Cassie. Don't get all crazy right now. Stay on him. Don't waste time. And I was about to compliment Kiss and Cutler about how well they were comporting themselves as a tag team. Mm. But that little bit of miscommunication right there yeah. may have cost them this matchup. Tough deal when you go into your opponent's corner to do an offensive move, but Sonny Kiss was able to drop Quinn. Sonny Kiss. Come oh. up. Went for that, that split leg drop, but oh no. Cassidy counters. Oh, Cutler taking off the apron. And now. Oh, the step up and see Gary by Mark Quinn. Private party feeling it. Now what? Quinn goes up. Oh, Cassidy. there it is. Shannon Juice. 
Quinn covers one, two, three. Private Party continues their winning ways. The winners of this match, Private Party. Tell you what, man. Gin and juice, once that happens, my friend Excalibur, it's all over Dunsky, as you know, man. And I was a little, little doubtful of Private Party earlier on, but uh, they have proven themselves to be tough, tough competitors here in the tag right, team. Well, what, oh, this? No. Wait, wait, wait. The Death Triangle. That, wow. The new triumvirate of Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr., and Pac laying waste to Private Party here tonight. Complete, complete. Blindside attack, and now on Kiss and Cutler, too. Yeah, their opponents even coming to their aid. But Death Triangle, I love it. I love it. I'll tell you what, man, I like it, man. Might not be popular, but I like it. Death Triangle, for sure. Got three like minded, tough, tenacious competitors in PAC Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix. Denver, Colorado! Oh! No happy ending for you tonight! And to all elite wrestling, if you continue to disrespect athletes of our caliber, well, you're going to get exactly what you asked for. Anarchy! No one's safe! Oh, oh, that's no joke. Pac's not lying, man. Nobody is safe. And we'll see Death Triangle in action for the first time as a trio tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite, live from Salt Lake City. Wait, what's it? that? Yeah, it's the jo bad boy! It's Joey Janela. Joey Janela laying in shots to Pentagon Pac, but the numbers is just crazy. He's got to be nuts out of his mind doing this. The number's too much for Janela, and now Ray Phoenix. Oh, man! The drop kick in the corner, putting the lights of the bad boy out. Tremendous stuff. Oh, but it's not over yet. Chuck Taylor and Trent, best friends, hit the ring. And Orange Cassidy. His business with Pac, the bastard, mm -hmm. evidently not over. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Death Triangle will be in action tomorrow night, but here tonight, the best friends and Joey Janela coming to the aid of Private Party. We thank you once again for joining us here on AEW Dark. For myself, Excalibur, my broadcast colleague, Taz, we will see you next week.